Hello, my name is Misty Jones, and this Pecha Kucha is about the theory of unpleasant symptoms, T-O-U-S for short, by Elizabeth R. Lenz and Linda C. Pugh. The middle-range theory of unpleasant symptoms was proposed as a means for integrating existing information about a variety of symptoms. Usually, the theories of nursing that are middle-range tend to be more specific and focused and offer more concrete connection, which attempts to describe, explain, or predict certain phenomena in clinical practices. With TOUS, it has three major parts, the symptoms factor that influence the symptoms and the performance outcome, such as quality of life. The theory defines symptoms subjectively as perceived by the patient. Symptoms are proposed to vary in intensity, timing, quality, and distress. Multiple symptoms occurring together may have the same or different causes and can have a cumulative effect. Thus, by categorizing influencing factors as physiological, psychological, and situational, the TOUS promotes thinking beyond the physical scope of care. Physiological factors include age and gender. Psychological factors include mood and cognition. Situational factors include marital, family status, social support, and access to health care, which are all strong influences on symptoms. The assumption behind the theory is that there are sufficient cohesions among symptoms to warrant a theory. The theory of unpleasant symptoms attempts to achieve parsimony by proposing that some of the same factors may influence the experience of several different symptoms. Consequently, similar interventions may be effective in alleviating more than one symptom. Although the theory has been used to guide research, no formal critique of the theory has been published since 2000. If somatic clarity, somatic and structural consistency, and parsimony could be improved, the theory demonstrates good social and theoretical significance and testability. The theory demonstrates that nurses should focus on multiple rather than individual symptoms. The theory does not include explicit interventions. Instead, it is assumed that many of the components and relationships in the TOUS can be targeted for intervention. Therefore, the research should be conducted by examining interaction effects, reciprocal relationships, and medication effects among physiological, psychological, and situational factors, symptoms, and performance. TOUS research has been used to evaluate patients with Alzheimer's disease. The three-year study shows the theory useful because it emphasizes the complexity and interaction of symptoms, influencing factors, and symptom performance outcomes. It's also useful with caregiver in the social and environmental context called situational factors in a theory, which emerge especially relevant in AD. The theory is appropriate for the study because it focuses on the complexity of symptoms, and we know that symptoms are of crucial value in healthcare. Much of what nurses do with patients is focused on symptoms, measuring them, assessing factors that influence changes, developing interventions. With TOUS, it can be used to identify preventive interventions, as well as develop innovative treatment that can be applied across symptoms when they occur.